another circular function, the tangent. So you might vaguely remember tangents from trigonometry and their opposites over adjacents. You might also remember that we use these to refer to a line that uh, cuts through a, or just touches a, uh, a graph. So the tangent of a parabola is just a line that touches it once. Also, it's sometimes referred to as the gradient. It's another word for a gradient because opposite over adjacent, so the opposite over the adjacent, is very much the same calculation as doing rise over run. And this will be very useful as an idea of knowledge when we get to calculus, but that's another thing altogether. The tangent of an angle is when you do rise over run, or otherwise opposite over adjacent. And from this we can tell that tan of an angle is the same as sine of an angle over cos of an angle. But how? Well, it comes down to doing some rather clever algebra. So we know that sine of an angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. We also know that cos of an angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And we know that tan of an angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite those sine and cos formulae to make uh, either opposites or adjacents uh, the subject. So I'm going to multiply both sides by hypotenuse. It's similarly over here as well. And I get hypotenuse times sine theta is equal to the opposite. And we get hypotenuse times cos theta is equal to adjacent. And then what I can do is substitute them into the formula. So this becomes hypotenuse times sine theta over hypotenuse times cos theta. Of course, the hypotenuses can divide and they cancel out each other. And so therefore, it's equal to sine theta over cos theta. We could also confirm that this, that this is how you calculate the sine and cos by using the unit circle. From our example earlier, where we did a pi on 6 and we found out that the coordinates here would be equal to 0 0.87, 0 0.5, well, the tangent will definitely be the sine value divided by the cos value here. So 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.87. Of course, these are rounded figures, so it'll be a little bit off. But we can see here it's very close to what the actual tan of the angle is. In the previous video, I was doing some calculations to find a sine and cos of an angle. And you might remember that I went and did a division between sine pi and 6 and cos pi and 6, and I got that exact value. So the unrounded figures will get us the exact tan uh, value that we need. So therefore, we can use the unit circle to confirm our suspicions. Another interpretation of using the unit circle to find tan is by drawing a literal tangent line. A tangent line is a line that just touches the curve once. And here our tangent line is a vertical one at the uh, that crosses through the x-axis at 1, 0. So what this means is that if I was to draw a line at a very specific angle, I'll be able to the measure or find out the value of the tan by continuing the line all the way up to this dotted line. So let's do that, shall we? We're going to draw a line that is pi on six or 30 degrees. And as we can see here, as we've measured the height of the tangent value here, it is 0 0.57. So by drawing a tangent line and connecting our line up until this tangent line, we also get that exact same tan value. Now, do you need to do all of these methods to get a tan value from the unit circle? No, you don't. But this is uh, just various different ways that we can prove how we can use the, tan, uh, the unit circle to get our tangent values. 
So in summary, the easiest way to find a tangent value given sine and cos is simply to divide the sine value of that angle uh, divided by the cos value of that angle. And if we need to find tan values at the extreme points, such as 90, 180, 270, or pi on 2, pi on 3, pi on 2, we simply just need to know the coordinates of those points and then do a division. As a reminder, the intercepts here are 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, and 0, negative 1. So, zero degrees or zero radians. We know that the sine of zero uh, for uh, zero degrees is zero because that's the y value. I'm just going to put y value here. And the cause of that is the x value. So this will be one. Therefore, tan of zero is zero divided by one, which is zero. 90 degrees. Uh, we'll pi on two. We know that the sine value is 1 and the cos value is 0. 1 divided by 0. Now you please remember that you cannot divide by 0. What is 7 lollies shared with nobody? Well, that's a very existential question for a start, but it doesn't mathematically make sense. So you cannot divide by 0. And also from that same point, we can't have a line. As soon as you bring up this uh, blue line that I've drawn up here vertically, it can't possibly touch that tangent line, that uh, green one there, because that will be parallel. Therefore, this is undefined. Or undef for short. 180 degrees or pi. Well, the sine value is zero. The cos value is negative one. So zero divided by negative one is zero. 3 pi on 2 is going to be uh, negative 1, 0, negative 1 divided by 0. Well, of course, that is also still undefined. Any time I try to divide by 0, that is undefined. 360 or 2 pi. So that's back to our start here. So the sine value is 0, the cos value is 1, 0 divided by 1 is 0. Now that we've adequately warmed up, we can now do a, some more challenging type questions. So negative three pi on two. So if we go this way, this is negative pi on two. This is pi. So this would be negative three pi on two. So my coordinates here are zero, one. So therefore one divided by zero, because it's going to be the sine value divided by the cos value there. And so that is undefined. Five pi on two. Well, if we go back, this is a positive. So there's pi on two, pi, three pi on two, two pi. Go back again, and this will be five pi on two. Well, we're back up here already once again. So that is also going to be undefined. 11 pi on 2. Well, pi on 2, 3 pi on 2, 5 pi on 2, 7 pi on 2, 9 pi on 2, 11 pi on 2 should be down here at the bottom because after all, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. It's going to bring us back down. So that's 0, negative 1. And that's going to be negative 1 divided by 0. Either way, it is still undefined. So you possibly may have hazarded a guess here that any time you try to do tan of something that is uh, like pi on two, it's going to be undefined. Whereas these other little friends uh, that don't have a divided by two are probably going to be equal to zero. So 57 pi, that's on the left because that's where the odd pi's are. So that's going to be at negative one, zero. What do I mean by odd pi's? Well, this would be zero pi, two pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, and so on. Continuing that pattern until you get to 57 pi. And so that's going to be negative 1, 0, 0 divided by negative 1, and that's going to be equal to 0. 212 pi, that's going to be on the right. 
So that's going to be one zero's coordinate. So zero divided by one, which is also zero. Can you hazard a guess at negative 49 over pi over two? Yeah, well, it's going to be undefined. Because even though we're going backwards, and in fact, it will still be at the bottom here, it will still be undefined.